This tutorial will illustrate how to create braces in SAP 2000 that carry tension loads only, no compression, although the same technique could be used to define compression only members as well. By definition, this is a nonlinear analysis, and although it is nonlinear, this type of analysis may be done in any of the SAP 2000 versions. First, we will add braces to the model using the quick draw braces command. Next, we will add a lateral load of 50 kilonewtons in the X direction at the top level. The next step is to select the two braces that we do not wish to carry any compression loads. And using the tension compression limits command, assign them a compression limit equal to zero. This will prohibit these braces from carrying any compression load. Now we are ready to run the analysis. Note that the lateral case is linear static. With the analysis complete, we will now display the axial forces in the model for our lateral load. Note that all of the braces have axial loads, including significant compression loads in the braces we previously assigned a compression limit of zero to. How come? Well, in order for the compression limit to work, we need to run the analysis as nonlinear. To do this, we will unlock the model and go to the define load cases command. With the lateral load case highlighted, click the modify button. We will leave the analysis type as static but switch from linear to nonlinear. Because we are now doing a nonlinear analysis, all combining of loads should be done on this load cases form rather than by using the combinations command, which is typically appropriate only for linear analyses. So for this example, we will add the dead load pattern to the lateral pattern, and we will use multipliers of one for both. Now we can rerun the analysis. Note that lateral is now nonlinear. This time, when axial forces are displayed, note that the braces that previously carried compression now apparently have almost no forces. Moving the cursor over the object shows an axial force of virtually zero. Again, the tension compression limit option is available in all versions of SAP 2000, but in order for it to work, the analysis must be done as nonlinear. This concludes this tutorial on tension-only bracing.